Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to look at the array function called array to stream. This video creates its own table, loads its own data, and will perform several array to stream function examples. Are you ready? Let's do this. The source code to this video is available on my GitHub account. Let's create a table so we can do all our testing for the array data type. So I'm going to create a table called countries, country name, country code, and then colors. Here's two ways you can declare this column, you either colors text or color text array. Choose the way you like. Let's go ahead and create that table. Now I'm going to show you two different ways to insert data. Notice the first way. For country name, country code, it's just basic put quotes around your values. But when we come to an array column, we can use the keyword array array, open bracket, close bracket, and then what we do is we put our values in there and we separate them by commas, single quotes. That's the first way. The second way is actually curly brace notation, which encloses a list of values separated by a comma, and all the values in the list, they must have the same data type. So once again, choose the way you like to do it and then just stick with it. So let me just insert all this data, and that's uh, 20 there, and then we have South America here. There we go. Look at our first example, array to string, our input array, and then the character we want to use as our separator. Here you can see that we're also using a comma and a space. When we execute it, notice this is now a string, and it's a comma space, comma space. You see that. In our next example, we're actually going to use all three of the arguments that are available to array to string. Okay, we start off with our array. Notice that we have one element that's a null. We're going to use the comma as our separator. And then the third argument is, how can we handle the null? And here you see that I'm going to say space, missing, and then a end space. Let's run this and see. And notice where it was null, we now have missing. That's our second example. Our third example, we're going to be using array to string. Notice we're using a column from a table called countries, and I'll be using a comma as our separator. Here is our output. So notice it all starts off with a, an array, and then I make it into a string, and I just put commas in between. On our next example, select color from countries where array to string. We're going to take that column called colors. I'm going to turn that into a string. We're going to use the like command and we're saying, hey, anywhere in there, if you see the word white, that is what we want. So white, 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 you get it. And of course, I can use a where condition and an and condition and I'm converting both of them to strings. First, I'm looking for white and then I'm looking for orange in there somewhere and notice that we were able to find one row. How about this for a test question? I want to find white where it's got a color on the left and the right side. So the color has to be in between data. Just can't be on the front, can't just be on the end, must be in between. Before we scroll down and see the answer, how would you solve that? Give that a try. As you can see on my where clause, I said array to string colors, and then my separator, look, I'm using close parentheses, comma, open parentheses, and like, notice I have the open and close parentheses around the word white. Now when we execute that, this is my result set. Now notice here, I'm getting back an array. What if I wanted the pattern? Well, I could just copy this up there and use that up there as well. Say comma, then let's go ahead and execute that. And then notice how white has got that around there. And I was able to solve that problem. In this example, we are going to concatenate together two arrays. Now, my first array is one, two, three. I'll be using the function array to string, and I will separate those values by a comma. Then we'll be using the concatenate operator, and we're going to put the word and between these two commands. Now, the second one, we're going to say array to string, and my array at this time is four, five, and six, and I'll use the separator comma. When I execute that, look at this, one, two, three, and four, five, six. I think you got it. And there you have array to string. And there you have a team, array to strings, a very useful function when trying to query the array data type. If you have any questions or comments about this video, please leave them below. I hope to see you again real soon. 
Take care.